Rap feuds have a tendency to go to some dark places, but this was next level. Bowlers, I put numbers on the boards. Hard Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top five most savage lines from the Drake and Pusha T diss tracks. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at both Drake's Duppy Freestyle and Pusha T's The Story of Adidon to identify those scathing and cutting lines that went straight for the jugular, with no concerns for good taste. Number 5. The Drug Selling Line – Duppy Freestyle The nerve, the audacity. <laughs> to hear Drake tell it, growing up in Toronto was no walk in the park. But compared to many of his rap industry peers, his is hardly a hard knock story. Drake has never been about street cred in the traditional hip hop sense. Pusha T, on the other hand, has always mined his life experiences for lyrical content, most frequently highlighting his drug dealing past. Damn that shit, even the odds now, you better off selling this hard now. And that's what Drake takes aim at here, with the line Man, you might have sold a college kids for Nike and Mercedes, but you act like you sold drugs for Escobar in the 80s. Pusha T questioned Drake's authenticity on the album Daytona, and Drake returned the favor with a precision strike. Number four, firing shots at Drake's parents. The story of Adidon. Easy money. Speaking of drug references, Pusha manages to slide them in even while taking aim at Drake's parentage. He raps. You mentioned wedding ring like it's a bad thing. Your father walked away at five, hell of a dad thing. Marriage is something that Sandy never had, Drake. How you a winner, but she keep coming in last place. This isn't a shot at Drake's credibility. It's a schoolyard low blow about him being a child of divorce and having an absentee dad. Pretty cold stuff. But there's even more to it. Drake evoked Pusha T's engagement, and Pusha T flips it around to put Drake in his place. Daddy issues, mommy issues, he's calling it all out. Number three, referencing Pusha T's connections to Kanye. Duppy Freestyle. So if you rebuke me for working with someone else on a couple of V's, what do you really think of the nigga that's making your beats? Kanye might be one of the biggest names in the industry, but he's had a rough last couple of years, whereas Drake has continued to dominate. So when Pusha T dismissed Drake's success as the product of Ghost Riders, Drake in kind called out the company that Pusha T keeps, his producer and label founder, Kanye West. Drake raps. Tell Ye we got an invoice coming to you, considering that we just sold another 20 for you. It's a scathing indictment of West and Pusha T for coming after Drake as an arguably bigger artist. Adding insult to injury, Drake then posted a photo of an invoice to good music for promotional assistance and career revival. Number two, accusing Drake of fathering and hiding a child. The story of Adidon. The cuatro ciento ochenta y ocho. When Drake name dropped Pusha T's fiance, the latter took the gloves off. Since you name dropped my fiance, let him know who you chose as your Beyonce. Not only did he go after Drake's parents and his bachelor lifestyle, he also shamed him for an alleged child he fathered with a now retired French porn star by the name of Sophie Brousseau. Pusha T didn't break the news. Rumors had been swirling since 2017 when Brousseau went public. But the way he used this rumor as ammunition was absolutely vicious. He attacks Drake as a man, rapping. A baby's involved, it's deeper than rap. We talking character, let me keep with the facts. You are hiding a child, let that boy come home. He then proceeds to call him a deadbeat and challenges him to do right by mother and child. It is a public shaming of the highest order. Love that baby, respect that girl, forget she's a porn star, let her be your world, yeah. Number one, the 40 line, the story of Adidon. We're not sure if this is the sort of competition one should actually want to win, but when it comes to being the most savage in a rap feud, Pusha T clinched it with this offensive line. It's about to be a surgical summer. Drake's longtime collaborator and OVO producer Noah Shabib, also known as 40, suffers from the degenerative disease known as multiple sclerosis, which affects over 2 million people around the world, killing anywhere between 12,000 and 19,000 annually. As such, you'd think this would be off limits, but Pusha went for it, rapping. OVO 40 hunched over like he 80. 
tick, tick, tick. How much time he got, that man is sick, sick, sick. I got the devil flow. Six, six, six. Surgical summer with it. Snip, snip, snip. And you don't really want it with him. It's absolutely tasteless, but it's certainly savage. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. Daytona. Album of the motherfucking year. And you talking about you upset.